So, welcome. This is the start of the Pine Guitar Challenge for me. Uh, Tomster from IP Guitars did the Pine Guitar Challenge with a friend. Uh, and I thought I'd join in on that. Add to that that <laughs> uh, my job's soon going down to four days a week, and then at the end of April, I think, I should have a new job. I'm going to build it out of materials that are just in the garage, with the exception of frets and a truss rod. So this is going to be a journal of that journey. Welcome to the other side of the curtain. So, a part of the challenge is also not being able to leave the house at the moment. So, I'm going to look for wood around the garage that's made of pine. I'll be back. I think this um, would make a really good fretboard, actually. It's going to be too thick, so I need some way of find, um, narrowing it down, but that should be good. I might not make a Telecaster, but that will help with the sizing. Okay, so it's a little bit too thick, but... I believe we have enough wood for the body. As an alternative, I do have lots of these pine furniture boards. But if I can get enough out of one of these to do a neck and then laminate them together, it's got to be not free though. There's a good run, and there's a good run. Might be good enough. Take some measurements. So the necks on most of my guitars are two centimeters thick and about 67 centimeters long. So it's the length we really need to look at. Ah, bugger. So that's not long enough. And this one's going headless. So maybe we could use that as a top. Let's see what else we've got. If we could cope with the nut having a heel, the, the heel having a knot, it could work. Yeah, this might do it, you know. Those, this is only, um, yes, yeah, less than two centimeters thick, so I was going to laminate the to make it more uh, sturdy. So I think to get the width I need, I'm thinking to accommodate a headstock, I need 10 centimeters, so I'd need nine or ten pieces of about two centimeters. We can get half of it from here. Nine or ten pieces, that seems like a bit much. Well, I want it to be stable. stable. Uh, looks like we might get a good run out of this one here as well. Nope. Pesky knots. Hmm. Anyway, I believe we've got the wood for the job. I've had this bridge. I don't know if you can see that. And this Dog Air P90. I've had them hanging around for ages, waiting for use. So that will take care of that. What else do I need? Frets are in the post. Truss rod in the post. I will take the... I'll take the tuners off another guitar. I think we can do this.
<laughs> I forgot the nuts. I have nuts. I'm keeping this video short because I want to spend the next, when I can, building it. So if you want to keep watching, I'll be here. See you in a week.